Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is your boy Sabio Jews, and I have with me a very special guest, Azman. Hi guys. I know it's been a very long time. We were on a sabbatical. <laughs> we went MIA for a few months at least. Mm -hmm. There were many reasons for it, but we are happy to be back. I'm happy to be back. I hope you guys still remember me. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Sabio once again. Uh, so yeah, this is a very special video because this is going to be the first video that we are going to be posting right after our break. And I couldn't be happier to do this with my dear friend Azman. A little bit about Azman. He is an actor himself. Uh, he lives in Los Angeles. Um, he is from Pakistan. So I'm really interested to see his reaction to this trailer that we are going to react to. Um, I'm sure he has like much more knowledge about Indian movies, probably more than me, <laughs> to be honest. So I'm I'm very excited for this one because I want to like dig his brain and like see what he has to say about the trailer. So the trailer that we are going to react to is Animal. Yeah. Let's take a look at the trailer. Uh, we'll react to the trailer and then we'll talk right after the reaction. Sounds good. Okay, Papa. Let's play a game. Right, Papa or a beta. Aapko yaad hai? बाबा <laughs> 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 Damn, that was intense. Absolutely. I mean, I have like a million questions in my head. I did not know going into the trailer this was going to be like a bond between a father and a son. 
like i thought this was going to be like oh like all you know how kabir singh and arjun reddy i haven't seen both of those movies by the way but mm-hmm. i thought it was going to be something like that but um yeah this took me a little bit by surprise yeah 100% i mean like um there's this like if if you look at like how bollywood has like transitioned for this period of time you notice that gruesome and violent films have now been coming less and less mm-hmm. uh that's why you talk about like films with extreme amounts of violence um such as like arjun reddy and kabir singh that you're mentioning and of course this is by the same director uh, mm-hmm. sandeep reddy wanga and so i think the promotion of this whole like angry young man it used to be very very famous back in the 70s when amitabh bachchan had just come to the scene mm-hmm. and they were just making films about violence and action and and stuff and like now i feel like he's trying the, to like bring it the, back the crowd wants something new right the crowd uh-huh. wants something new crowd wants like high energy high intensity mm-hmm. bloodshed violence uh from the look of it i feel like because there is like of such a close bond between the wife from the tra- trailer it's uh-huh. telling i feel like there will also be an extreme uh influence of sex in in this film which might be an interesting take on how we see the in- industry kind of moving yeah forward. i mean going with what you said like if he's the same director like he is the same same director mm-hmm. who made um, like arjun reddy like i know he is known for like doing bold stuff mm-hmm. so i wouldn't be surprised to like see like such bold like you know intense scenes like including sex scenes and like bloodshed and what not but um would you yeah. want to see them though is that something that you would look at and be like yeah i'm excited to see this new theme i mean yeah why not like i i probably wouldn't even though i haven't i haven't seen it i know that after watching it i probably wouldn't want to watch it again only That's because i know there's going to be a lot of like controversial stuff that i am not going to like agree agree upon i get that uh but yeah like why not this looks a little different like like you mentioned like there's been like this stagnancy in bollywood like they're trying to like experiment and like trying to bring out something new which was kind of paused for some time like you know from the 70s and 80s right but yeah i feel like that's his like strength the director strength like doing some something like so intense you know and trying to bring back that era into this uh, new modern era no doubt and the thing is is that not not that i've seen the film but like i've been like active on social media and this film has become an almost a meme where people are saying that when you go and watch this film either you're going to go and beat the crap out of someone out of like the you know uh, anger that you might possess or if someone lays a finger on anyone in your family or friend you're going to like you know mm-hmm. show them who's boss um which i think because of the kind of uh, society that generally watches bollywood films um and i'm one of those people you tend to get very easily inspired by the themes that they play around with right um and you see this like many a times like you know when you see that uh, ye jawani hai diwani everyone wants to be like bunny or when you see a movie like kabir singh everyone wants to be like kabir like holy you touch my girl and i'll break your legs you know like yeah. so these dichotomies play which just goes to show like what an influence these films have on our own sense and our own being you know yeah you're 100% right like that actually made makes me think like i don't know what what rating this has like i really hope like the youngsters don't take like wrong meaning out of this like and portray violence or think that oh violence is cool because you know it's like the new thing in bollywood because you're right like even when i grew up like i i saw a lot of bollywood movies growing up so right. you know you have no idea the amount of influence that movies can have over your life but anyway i mean it's food for thought 100% i mean if you look at like like forget violence if you talk about like even love for that matter my whole life i thought that when i would fall in love there would be six people playing the violin behind me and i would see her for the first time and that would be it you know and then as you grow uh longer in life you realize that even if one person plays the violin behind it would be good but just no one ever comes it never happens uh, it never really happens right um and yeah. yeah it's so interesting because like you know how you mentioned so i'm just for context i'm from pakistan right and for those that don't know um our exposure to bollywood is the exact same as anyone in india you know we have grown up listening to shahrukh khan songs i can guarantee i know more shahrukh khan or any of these movie songs 
and dialogues more than Savio could have even known. For sure, yeah. You know, like guaranteed, you know, and uh, more than the average amount of Indians because like, Hamare Li, that was the, that was what it was, right? Uh, Pakistan doesn't have its own like, major film industry and mm. even music industry while growing up was, it was all, it was all Bollywood, mm. you know, and we looked at Bollywood as our own. Hmm. It wasn't like, oh, this is the Indian film industry and then we tend to copy. We just ad, ad, uh, embodied it completely because I just feel like there are barely any differences between us as people. And the sad truth is, is that you have to come to a place like the US or like neutral ground to realize that it was the same. Yeah, uh, exactly. I mean, yeah, you said it perfectly right. Like I didn't realize myself, like we had so many common things between us. Like, I mean, I have like a lot of stories that I can share, but yeah. Uh, I I still stand by what I said what I said like you know a, a lot more about Bollywood than than I do because I don't follow Bollywood as much doesn't but, matter uh, you're a Hollywood actor so. <laughs> but uh, yeah I'm happy to be doing this with you um, yeah once again like thank you so much for joining me in this video it was really My nice pleasure. to join you and um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed our reaction to this. And if you guys want Azman to be in our future videos, <laughs> do let us know in the comment comment box down below. And uh, yeah, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you guys next time. Until then, time out. If you guys like this video, you guys know the drill. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon notification button so you don't miss any other update. And if you guys have more such videos, please do send them our way. All of the details will be in the description box below. And don't forget to check out our other videos and follow us on social media.